Hey everyone, welcome to this rapid fire tutorial for getting started with Tableau API Lib. Um, for each one of these tutorial videos, there's two versions. Um, one version goes, gets into the details, is pretty descriptive, and then the other one is like this where we try to keep it under five minutes and it's really just going to get you the information you need so you can watch it and get out. So in the spirit of that, let's dive right in. Um, what we're looking at here is a Tableau online site and um, we're going to basically be getting information from the site using the Tableau Server REST API. And um, everything that we're doing here is driven by the Tableau Server REST API reference. So in this video in particular, uh, since it's getting started, we're really just signing into the server and then making sure that we can actually uh, tap into the information that's there and then we're just going to get out. So signing in, signing out, and maybe a couple other of these methods. But if you wanted to improve upon what I built with Tableau API Lib, uh, or improve upon what Tableau has built with Tableau Server Client, their own library, then you could just build everything from scratch using these endpoints. So inside the Jupyter Notebook, it's going to be the, our home for the next couple minutes. Um, we are going to establish a connection to Tableau, uh, what's called Tableau Server Connection, and this is going to be the uh, entity through which all our requests pass, uh, going from our Python code to the Tableau online site. Now in order for this to work, you need Tableau API Lib installed, so I can show you any time that you use one of these tutorial videos, we'll want to just run uh, pip install dash upgrade Tableau API Lib, and this will make sure that you have the most recent version of the library running on your machine. And from here, let's just hit enter. Uh, we've imported Tableau Server Connection. We define our configuration information. Again, the more detailed video gets into the particulars here, specifically explaining some of the nuances of your site name and your site URL. Um, I will point out that I'm using a personal access token and I'm going to delete this after this video. Um, so what do we do with this? Well, you can see up here we have Tableau Prod as um, this kind of at the top of the hierarchy of this configuration information. And you could pass multiple environments in here. In this case, I only have one single one that's called Tableau underscore Prod. And as I define my connection object, I'm saying here's where my configure configuration information is coming from, and then this is the environment we want to reference. So now that we have that connection established, uh, we're not yet signed in. We do need to call the sign in method, which is going to just call on this endpoint here from the REST API reference. And when we sign in, the server is going to give us a response back. So we can see the status code is 200. If you went and you scoured the REST API reference documentation, you'd find out that this is a good thing. This means that we have information coming back to us from the server. Our sign-in request was successful. And this little nugget of information here, the token, is going to be stored inside our connection object so that whenever we call future REST API calls, um, or whenever we issue future REST API calls, that token is going to be referenced. That serves our authentication. And uh, if we sign out, which we will do at the end of this notebook, then it will invalidate that token and you can no longer uh, make other REST API calls. You would have to sign in again. So what can we do now? We could get our server information. Uh, we could maybe query the projects on the site and just something that the Tableau API lib aims to do is, um, yes, it is giving you these uh, REST API endpoints kind of uh, more easily than if you were to build it from scratch, but it's also taking some of this raw data that's available to you and packaging it in um, kind of more user-friendly formats, such as with this querying um, section of the Tableau API lib library. Um, this is all about getting data back in the form of a pandas data frame. So if you work a lot with data in Python, uh, pandas might be a very close friend of yours. It is for me. And what we can do now is get that same project's information, but packaged more nicely in a pandas data frame. 
So in future videos, we'll explore this and we'll lean on this ability to ingest the JSON information directly into Panda's data frame. Uh, we'll lean on that quite heavily and it's going to make our lives a lot easier as we try to control our Tableau server environment. So uh, don't want to leave that connection hanging. Let's sign out and we will get a 204 response code when we sign out successfully. And if we were to, let's say, try to query our projects again, we just notice that we are no longer authorized. Signing out does invalidate that um, token. So that's it and hope to see you in future videos.